Hey, greetings. This is Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo with Ham Radio Deluxe. And I'm going to run through this video a little bit. Um, folks had asked me uh, occasionally, hey, I see my logbook of the world totals and I can't figure out how to match the, them up to HRD logbook. So I created a tool and I'm going to run through some demonstrations to help folks understand how to, I call it reconcilings, like you would just like you would a bank account. You know, I'm going to reconcile, you know, the logbook of the world totals to Hamrio Deluxe logbook and show you how that works out. Just take a moment to click the subscribe button down below and then you'll get um, updated whenever we release new videos or and, and that'll help you keep up to date with what we're doing here at Ham Radio Deluxe. Okay, here I've got my logbook and um, this is my my live logbook this is what I use to keep um, the QSOs that I care about in and um, you can see uh, the log up up top doing a lot of FT8 lately and then the Q, uh, DX cluster at the bottom if you click on the awards tracking button here that's going to bring up the awards tracking uh, form or uh, tab and then you can see all your data here that shows you um, your totals. Now, what you might not know, and I'll just show you quickly, um, this is a drillable report, which means that if I see 13 here, I can double click on 13, and that'll take me to the 13 that I need uh, to confirm. Um, and if I, I can click on view all up here, and that'll take me to a list of all the QSOs I have with those 13 countries which ends up being 16 over here um, and these are the people I need to chase to get uh, QSL cards so anyway I just want to make a quick point that the report is meant to be drillable um, which is good so I've got that going on there so let me pull up my logbook of the world account and once you're logged into your logbook of the world account then you can click on awards and select your DXCC award and then you get a panel that shows you what your totals are. So I'm going to minimize or change the size of this for a moment just to kind of allow us to see it side by side. So I've got um, got these numbers here and I've got these numbers here. How do I make sense of them? So I can make a few observations. First of all, um, my credits for the um, challenge matches to the 1918 over here but if I look along some of these things here um, for example um, I've got 291 for for uh, 20 meters but if I look over here for 20 meters it shows 286 it's important to note that what they're showing you here is inclusive of your deleted entries. So if I come over here and click deleted entries and then pop that back up again, it'll show me now I was looking at 20 meters. It shows uh, 290, 291. And if I come over here, it shows 291. So all of my uh, deleted entries have already been applied a long time ago so I'm not so much interested in the deleted entries which is why for this column here where it says um, credits awarded I don't care about this column very much except for this last cell because this last cell needs to match this 20 or this this number that's over that's over here so long as that matches I don't care but I'll show you that in a tool here in a moment the column that I really care about is over here where it says current and if you hover over it it's going to say the total of, uh, of logbook QSLs that have been awarded and it does not include uh, deleted countries. Perfect. That, that's what I want to see. And if I look at that I see there, there's 1944 in total. That should match this over here and it doesn't. It's off by one and I'll show you why in a moment. This, this number is also off by one. It shows 26, and over here it shows 27. 
So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a spreadsheet where I put all this stuff together and I'm going to make this spreadsheet available on our support site. You can download the spreadsheet and use it yourself um, and, and it'll help you get the reconciliation done. Okay, so here's the spreadsheet. And what I've done in the spreadsheet is um, I've created a section where I'm going to put all of the information that exists in the logbook of the world report. There are a few ways you can do this. Um, you can do it by hand or you can highlight it and copy and paste it, whatever. But basically I've taken all of these numbers and posted them right over in here. Now, I don't have satellite in this tool just because I haven't pursued satellite um, award. I do have a few countries confirmed on satellite, but um, I did take it out of this spreadsheet over here. So if you copy the numbers over, just make sure that you remove those, uh, those, that row before you put it in. So I put all these numbers in here and you can see that, that these all match to what is being shown over here in Logbook of the World. Okay. Then um, I've taken the numbers from the, um, from the confirmed row. So this row right here in Ham Radio Deluxe Logbook. And I've, I've put that in, in this row right here. And you can see once I get this done, and so the bottom row you don't have to, I've got a formula in there. What you really want to do is put in all the rest of them. But all of these through 160 meters will add up to um, the same number that's shown over here. Okay, so just type those in, all these right here. Type them in from your sheet or from your report there. Uh, do the same thing for the not submitted row. Let's get all these in there. You just punch those into this list. It'll total them up. If you have any that are not submitted, you can put those in there and the math will take care of that as well. I don't have any that are not submitted at the moment. Um, that only happens when you have uh, applications that are in process. And then take your granted totals. Those should be the same numbers from over here. And when you get them all plugged in, this number will calculate out to what that number shows there. So once you get that done, you've got uh, all of your Logbook of the World data in here and all of your ham radio deluxe data in here. So the formulas I've got in here then will show you how many QSL cards you haven't submitted. So I happen to have one card in my hand and it's the only card that I haven't uh, submitted. It happens to be for the Kingdom of Eswatini on 17 meters sideband. So it's a, it's a new country for me on phone. So that's why you see that one. And then it's a new country for me on 17 meters. So when you see the, and, and it's also then a new challenge country, all in one. So when you see this thing here where it says cards not submitted, what it's really doing is taking the difference between what, what confirmations you have in total, Logbook of the World plus cards, which came right off of your not submitted column here. This is the total of your logbook of the world credits and your cards, which explains why the column over here in logbook of the world, this one here, where it shows 26, it's going to show 26 because it doesn't know about the card that I have. You may have more cards than just the one, but um, there's no way that Logbook of the World knows about that card. So when I run the um, reconciliation, I can see, okay, that's showing me how many cards I've got, or at least how many QSOs are on cards by band. And then it does a calculation and comes up with, you have zero un unaccounted for confirmations. So this is, if, if all these numbers are zero, then you've done what you, you, know, you needed to do in all of your um, all of your data in Logbook of the World matches um, with, log, with HRD Logbook. Um, if it doesn't, um, and you're one of our support customers, call us and we can help you through that. Most often what happens is that um, 
you may need to go back and, and do your your download and just change the date and go back, you know, a lot further in the download date to maybe, you know, when you were first licensed or whatever and uh, change the download date and pull down all of your records and that will update them all. Um, I'm not going to do it now because it's a lot of records, but um, that that will get this stuff updated for you. Um, if you have cards that were submitted before Logbook of the World existed, they may not be shown in the download from Logbook of the World, so you'd have to update those manually like uh, a number of the CQDX awards. So I'm going to publish this um, spreadsheet so that you can get to it and uh, you can plug your data in there. And if you have any questions, post it below or contact us. So if you need to get this spreadsheet, you want to try it out, go to support.hamradiodeluxe.com and search for Reconcile, and it'll take you to the article where I post it. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, and uh, or give us feedback in the, uh, in the notes below, in the section below. As always, um, download the la latest version of Ham Radio Deluxe from www.hamradiodeluxe.com. If you're a customer of ours from any time in the past, you're entitled to run the latest version. Um, if you want to buy a renewal or if you're a prospective customer, you can use coupon code YouTube at checkout for 20% off. And then um, if you need to get your key at any point in time, you can go to keyretrieval.hamradiodeluxe.com. Thanks, 73s from WA9PIE.